If you want to learn how to make this lovely blanket ladder for $20 or less, then you're in the right place. This is the perfect project for beginners and craftsmen alike because it only uses two power tools, some stain, and maybe a top coat. It's really easy and anyone can do it. So if you want to learn how to do it, go ahead and keep watching. Hi, I'm Jessica, and I'm obsessed with creating, decorating, and organizing. On this channel, I'll teach you how to make DIY farmhouse upgrades for your home, organization tips, and life hacks you can use on the daily. Subscribe for more videos like this one. Before we get started, I wanted to point you to Angela Marie Maid's blog. She's the one who came up with this ladder design, and she has all the measurements on her website. That'll be linked in the description down below. So here I am sanding down the pieces after I would cut them to size with a miter saw. That is the first power tool that you'll need. And I'm just using a really old style sander. It just kind of vibrates. And I have 220 grit sandpaper. If you were a little bit more adventurous and high tech than me, you would use 60 or 80 grit sandpaper to smooth it out more and then go in with your 220 grit sandpaper to do the finishing smoothing out. But I didn't really want to do that because I didn't want to go to the store and get more sandpaper. And I liked a lot of the more bitten up details with this wood. I picked these because they had a lot of knots, they had a lot of imperfections, and that's what I loved about them. So you can see them in the background. There's tons of knots and different design flaws about these boards, and that's why I picked them. So I wasn't super particular about the sandpaper. Now I'm sanding down the dowel by hand, and this one had a sticker on it, so I had to sand it down quite a bit more, but I still didn't get all the stickiness off, so when I stained it, you could kind of tell that it was discolored right there, and then I wiped down the dowel, but I didn't do that with the boards because then I had to do the drilling of the holes. This is the second power tool you'll need. You'll need a power drill and then a spade bit. This is a one and a half size spade bit, which is the size of the dowel pieces, so they'll fit in really perfect and snugly. The important part about this step is that you need to be really stable. So I'm kneeling on the board, and I'm using both hands on the power drill, and I'm trying to keep it as up and down as possible. If you waver side to side, your bit's going to get stuck, or it's going to kind of hit the edge, and it'll jerk a little bit. Luckily it's not very dangerous because it doesn't give quite a big jerk, it's just a little tiny jerk, but you'll know that you're not being stable enough if it's starting to jerk on you. Now I'm using a Varathane stain in Espresso all over the boards, and I'm starting from the top and going downward. I'm not wiping it off because this stain is not very powerful if you do that, so I'm just putting it on. I'm making sure it's not drippy or anything, I'm just putting it on a nice thick layer. If you did want to wipe it off and do it more as the directions say, and you wanted to take more steps, which I didn't want to do, then you would just wipe it off as you go, and then you would sand between coats. I am a little bit lazier than that, and this isn't going to be a piece that I use a lot, so it's just going to be up against the wall. I only wanted to do one coat, and this just worked for me, it didn't seem to be funky or anything. I just put it on pretty thickly and it worked out really well. If you haven't figured it out yet, I am a complete amateur. By the way, so sorry about this dirty butt shot. I did not realize it, but I'm just learning as I go. I'm trying new things. This was all completely new to me and that's why a blanket ladder is a great first project. It doesn't take a lot of tools, it doesn't take a lot of skills, you just have to try and go and it's not going to be a main center point of your room or your home so it's not going to be a big deal if you mess up and just as a disclaimer I did mess up in the end but I still loved it because I made it. That reminds me of that song. Hey look ma I made it! Love that song. It gives me inspiration and life. So now I want to ask you, what projects are you dying to try that you've really wanted to make, but you've just been so intimidated by them that you haven't yet? Let me know in the comment section down below and maybe I can do a DIY video for you so we can do it together and learn how to do it together because as I said, I'm new to this and you just got to get out there and try it. So I want to encourage you to do the same. Now I'm showing you that I did get some stain on the wall. 
I figured it was a lot better than having to lay down tons of newspaper on the ground and getting stain all over the floor. And I'm going to be repainting the garage anyway, so I wasn't super worried about that, but I just wanted to mention that you will get some stain on the wall if you lean it up against the wall. Now I'm taking some wood glue and putting it in all the holes that I drilled. I'm putting a pretty decent amount. If you put too much, it will start rolling out of there when you try to put the two pieces together, but a little bit more is better than too little. So now I'm taking a hammer and hammering these in. If you had a mallet, that might be even a little bit better because it's not going to leave big dents in your wood when you start hammering the outside of it. And this is the tricky part, it's lining everything up. And one end has the angled sides, so make sure that you put both the angled sides on the same side. Don't get it flipped around or it's going to be really messed up. Luckily that's not what I messed up on, I'll tell you right at the end. As you can see there's some wood glue pouring out of the sides, can you see that on the ground? So you really want to wipe that up and make sure that you get it all cleaned up before you do anything else because that is going to stick on there. And it's supposed to be clear but it does come off a little bit yellow if you get a lot of it globbed on. And it can also just glue itself to the floor which is kind of awkward. Now I'm just taking some boards to put pressure on both sides so that it all stays together because this has to set and be very still for 24 hours. So you really want it to stabilize. I didn't have clamps so I just was rednecking it and used what I had. I think it's really funny that I'm wearing a dress in this clip. I wear dresses just because they're so easy, you just throw them on, but it just seems kind of goofy that I'm wearing a dress in this clip. I just wanted to mention that because, yes, it's super weird, but I was being lazy and I wore a dress. It's fine. It's fine. Luckily this day I wasn't dealing with any sand dust or staining, so I didn't really care that I was wearing a dress, but I found it kind of amusing. And as you can see, I used a board on the top just to show that, to make sure that it was level. And then there you have it. You have a beautiful blanket ladder. The one thing that I did mess up is that the right side was not as long as the left side, so it did tilt sideways a little bit. So that was my biggest screw up, was not making sure that those two boards were the exact same size. But other than that, I really loved the details on these boards, so make sure that you go to the store and pick them out yourself so that you can get the aesthetic that you're going for, and I hope you enjoyed this project. Don't forget to let me know what projects you're dying to try but haven't yet in the comment section down below, and consider subscribing. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day or night, and I'll see you next time. Bye!